will they be more than unhappy or will they feel actually a difficult place to go? I think it is a difficult place to go. I think the first game in the European campaign, away from home, a point is always a good result. Now, the mindset changes, doesn't it, when you've been two goals up and because you think we must have done something wrong. But that game was difficult for Spurs, even before they, they went the two goals up. Um, you know, they conceded chances. They got lucky with the one that hit the post. Could have been a goal down. So overall, I think Pochettino will be reasonably pleased. But you, you, you have to, as a footballer, have a, a little bit of disappointment within you when you've lost a two-goal lead because you pride yourself on being able to keep leads. But that's a difficult place to go. Yeah. Matt, do you think Poch actually would be more disappointed with the performance than the result? Because yeah. Harry Kane alluded to it, didn't he, afterwards? Yeah, I think Harry Kane said, obviously, they would sort of taken the lead against the run of play, if you like. But, it's a diff you know, Danny said there, it's a difficult place to go. It's always hard to go away from home. But I think you saw last night, as you said, in Europe, it's difficult for, for Liverpool going to Napoli. That was difficult. So you, you knew that this was going to be a tough game. They don't concede many goals there. So they've gone 2-0 up. They've done the thing. It's that goal just before half-time. Just mm. changes momentum. Yeah. And it changes the team talk when, you know, Pochettino got them in at half-time. And then they just weren't able to sort of, I don't know, get it back and listen to Harry Kane's interview as well. He's saying the second half was much more even and it's a, it's a soft penalty as well. And they'll look at it and they'll think of the Arsenal game in, in, in the league. Deja vu all yeah, over again. Where they, where they you know, had the lead and then they... And, and, and Same again, thing, just before half-time. Just before half-time and then and a chance, so for the second, when the penalty's given away, they had a chance to clear it. And then the ball in and I think it was Deli Alley's ball in and then the penalty's given away. It's soft, but it is a penalty. You know, he just tread on his foot. And, but in the end, then they held on. And if you just said to him at the start of the game, to go away to Olympiacos and coming away from a point in Europe, you take it. But as Danny says, when you're 2-0 up, that will be the disappointment. It's game side management of it. is. It's game management. What's really difficult, and we've all, well, you haven't, but we've played in games, where <laughs> you know that you're on the back foot because you win. you're winning and you drop off and you're on the back foot and you know it and you're talking with the lads thinking, come on, change the mindset back to being on the front foot. But it's hard because the other factor you have to do is, is the other team are playing free. When you're a goal down, two down, the other team take risks that you don't need to take. So you protect what you have subconsciously. I, th I, I think Pochettino, when he wakes up in the morning, especially after last year's campaign, you know, in the group, I mean, because they started poorly in the group, didn't they? Mm. And, and, and they only just... Well, it was amazing what they did to, to get through in the... They were a point after three games, weren't they? Yeah. So actually, away fixture, first one. Not everybody's up to speed yet after four or five games as well, let's not forget. I was a bit surprised Son on the bench after his performance at the weekend, but, you know, rotation is everywhere now. But I, I think he'll wake up in the morning, and you're right, the performance might not be ex top of the tree, but the, the point is a good point. I mean, the, the, the first half, they, they just, just didn't seem themselves. They, they were second to everything, they were slow, they was, it seemed lacklustre but still took a two-goal lead. So that, and that's the time sometimes when you haven't started that well, but you manage to you know, weather the storm at times and ride the luck a little bit, but still in a very hostile, intense atmosphere. To be able... as well, the heat. The yeah, heat it's, makes it's, a difference. It's there. difficult so to, to go there. And, but that's shown you as well, I think, that Tottenham are gaining more and more experience in Europe, you know, and, and obviously they'll take confidence from what they did last year, but they, I still think that once they've got that lead, it's so frustrating as players when you get that lead, you've done the hard work, if you like, you've gone ahead and then not been able to, to hold on. But end of the day, it's still, it still is a decent point. And, you know, you don't... When you're in, in Champions League, in group stage, you are playing against the High top quality, team. Yeah, yeah, and they've been very, very good in their domestic competition. And if you get the point there and then they can beat them back home, then you would say that it's, uh, you know, it is a good point. Yeah. Is it similar, though, to the Arsenal game? It's, it's, it's poor game management. To a degree, I think it's very difficult to compare a, you know, North London derby with a, a game in Champions League. But I, I take your point on board. There, there, there's, there's different ways that coaches um, put across their coaching philosophy, if you like, or their, you know, what they want from you. I've worked with coaches who give game scenarios all the time. So, you know, 10 minutes left, lads, 1-0 up. Down to 10, 10 men. You play 10 minutes with 10 men. But that's not the same, is it, as a real-life experience? You can't recreate it. You can't recreate it, but you, you, can, you can give... I, I still think players like guidance. And it's, it's difficult to say to a team, if you tune it up after half an hour, this is what you should do for the rest of six minutes, you're playing the game, I get that. But when, when, when you come into a second half away in Europe and you, you're winning, you can, ch you, you can be more defensive. You, you don't have to score again. You can change your mindset if that's the way you want to go. Mourinho won the Champions League at Porto. Every time, the last, if they were winning with half an hour to go or 25 minutes to go, he'd change, 
Shut up shop. Shut up shop, and he didn't care. He didn't care, and it and it got it was so and, deliberate. And Juventus in Europe, how good were they? They got really far in competitions again. Once they went ahead, they were so hard. They stayed in there. Sometimes it was a you know a back five at times, but they were just or even when they had the back four, the fullbacks didn't go like you usually would see. Once they went ahead, they knew how to that word you use, game management, take the sting out of it. Um, break the opposition's, you know, momentum every time. Frustrate them. Or, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. or if you feel like you have the players and the capability, you sometimes feel it in a team where you're thinking we're winning. But if we go, if we if we push on here, we'll we'll win comfortably. And you've, it's, it dep- you, that's the game management. You can't be robotic with your tactics. I think Man City and Liverpool are good examples of going. We've got you, and we're gonna we're gonna keep. We're just gonna keep going. I mean, hammer teams into the ground. You know, destroy them. Not not. Get, but, get panicked. But that there's, decision there's, for the equaliser, though, that gave the penalty away, I yeah. felt that that ball there was always going to be in trouble. That you know there was a oh the pass out, yeah, from yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly that. that, that that's, that's the mindset we're yeah. talking would about. Would it be a strange one though if you're a player, if you're on that pitch tonight, you're two 0 up and you look at each other, you actually you don't know how you've gone two 0 up because you're not playing well, you don't deserve to be two 0 up. So then, do you think, well, if we can go two 0 up and we're not playing well, yeah. we could we could seal this, we could we could romp home. I, I think I think. As you get older and you play more games, especially in Europe, you just get wiser. And, and that, collectively, is difficult, because especially when, you know, if you've got younger players. But it's not necessarily always just about, you know, 1-0 one, one up half-time or 2-0 two, two down. It, it's just general intelligence of good footballers. And that's why the best footballers play for the best teams and win the most trophies, because they make the right decisions more often than the, than the footballers who aren't as good as them. When do you go long? When do you play short? When do you, when do you go down? Didier Mann was the best player I ever played with at getting free kicks in the last five minutes of games. It was unbelievable. But that's buying ins- time. Buying time. But it's instilled into them as young, you know, and that's something when you do your coaching badges in England, when do you, at what age do you coach game management? You know, and, and sometimes, and Didier Mann will have learned that over in Germany, very, very intelligent, the experience of it. But what Tottenham didn't do, is lose the game. And that is so, so important because how many times do you see that where you can't wrestle it and you end up losing the game 3-2? And, and I still think with Tottenham last season, they either won games or lost games. Now they're drawing a few more games, yeah. which, is, which is... Well, that, they were on an incredible run of not drawing games, weren't yeah. they? But, I mean, you said not everybody's up to speed after four or five games. You look at Tottenham's results so far this season. What does it actually tell us about where they are at right now? Is it difficult in some ways to pinpoint where Spurs are at? Yes. I think they're. I mean, they've got a problem, haven't they, in the fullback area? Sanchez played that, I think, tonight, and they look a bit. I was surprised they let Trippier go, so that's a little problem for them. Um, a lot of the play, a lot of the Tottenham players have had a long two years of football, um, and, he, and some of them have had extra time off, coming back a bit later. They've had a couple of injuries. I think Tottenham will be fine. I think they'll. I think they'll get out of the group still, and I think they'll be What's top fine, four. Though? Top four. Mm-hmm. You know, let's let's not forget how far. Tottenham have come and how quickly they've got there under Pochettino. I know I've said that before, but although they've set the bar high now getting to the final of Champions League, they're still way ahead of schedule. Whilst getting the new stadium done, the squad's good. And the window's closed, so which was Pochettino I felt was a bit distracting. Ericsson's and, and, still there. He said he was yeah. going to have a party, didn't he? Yeah, but, and, and, but looking at all those results, only the Newcastle one really yeah. is a bad... If you'd have said at the start of the season going into it, I know they were leading against Arsenal, they were leading tonight, but still... The Newcastle result would be the only one you'd actually say is a real, real yeah, blot on the copybook, if you like. And they still, you know, they conceded the goal. They couldn't get back into it. But the, the game against Crystal Palace, that was fantastic. And then they've gone and done well tonight. Is he being uh, genuine, Pochettino, when he says we are not among the favourites to win the Champions League? Given they got to the well, final Whether he's genuine or not, he's right. Yeah, I agree with him. <laughs> he's right. I mean, they, they, they punched above last season. They got a bit lucky, but they punched above some terrific performances. But they rode the, look all, the whole way through the competition. Um, they're competing with powerful clubs, with wonderfully gifted footballers and deep squads. It, it, I'd be absolutely gobsmacked if they got to the final again. Um, I don't think they will, but that's OK, because I, I still think they're on a journey. Whereas for Liverpool and Man City, it's different. Their expectation is to win it. I don't think Tottenham fans expect to win it. 